Okay, folks, let's get back in the swing of things by going back to my 1,000 subscribers special by showing you all my VHS collections, my entire movie collections. Here's Better Off Dead with John Cusack, part of a Fox video selection. Oh, yeah, seen this movie. Pretty funny. David Ogden Stiers appears in this movie along with John Cusack. Yeah, tape. You can see it's not in the best condition. I'm going to try to get a better condition copy of the movie. Broadcast News with William Hurt, Albert Brooks, and Holly Hunter. Written and directed by James L. Brooks, who's one of the producers and co-creators of The Simpsons. Looks like the print date is February 2nd, 1988. Could be, but I don't know. Betrayal with another Jeremy Irons film and Ben Kingsley. CBS Fox Video, of course. Okay. Let me show you the tape. Yeah, it's got an art sticker label on here. CBS Fox release, as I just said. Here's the Grissom Gang. Released by ABC Video. Nineteen seventy one. This takes place in the nineteen thirties. I'll show you the tape real fast. Yeah. This is a nineteen eighty two release, twentieth century Fox video incorporated home video release. Here's tattoo. Bruce Dern, Maud Adams. 1980 movie, 1983 CBS Fox release. Oh, yeah. Sorry, folks, it's hard to hold a... It's hard to get a VHS tape open and hold a camera at the same time. Now I can show what the tape label looks like. Yes. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to get to the clamshells. We have Far From Home, The Adventures of Yellow Dog. 1995 20th Century Fox film. Saw this movie. Liked it. It's a former Hastings rental. Where should I put the clamshells? Um, I think I'll put them behind me. Right there. Here's the Page Master with Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. Another unique movie. Pretty good. It's a Wizard. Of, it's the Wizard of Oz for the 90s. And it's got the voice talents of Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Stewart, Leonard Nimoy, and Frank Welker. And um, there's actually a sneak peek at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie on this uh, VHS. Okay. Here's Baby's Day Out. Another one-of-a-kind comedy. This was written and produced by the late, great John Hughes. Yeah, this movie is hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of a guilty pleasure in a way. Here's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. I just discussed it a minute ago. Fun movie. Saw this in theaters back in uh, the summer of 1995. Definitely worth watching. Here's a movie that needs no introduction, The Sandlot. <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah. Oh, man. This movie is downright hilarious. If you have not seen this, you need to see this. It is hilarious. Especially the scene where the two teams argue against one another and call each other some of the best names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's Rookie of the Year. Movie made by Daniel Stern. He directed this film. Did he produce it also? No, he didn't. He only directed. But he does star in it. But... I, I will say that I do like this movie, but... In all honesty, nothing beats The Sandlot. Ice Age. The original film, of course. Absolutely hilarious. Two thumbs up. Scratch Missing Adventure. Voice talents of Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, and Dennis Leary. 
No, there's no print date on this tape. Ugh. And right here we have Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 remake made by John Hughes as well. With Elizabeth Perkins, Mara Wilson, Richard Attenborough, Dylan McDermott, J.T. Walsh. And Robert Prosky's in the movie too. I may show this movie for movie night around Christmas time soon. I don't have the original 1947 film yet anyway. But this movie, the 1994 remake, is not that bad. Here's Anastasia. 1997 20th Century Fox animated film. Directed by Don Bluth. Yes. Voices of Meg Ryan, John Cusack, Kelsey Grammer, Hank Azaria, Christopher Lloyd, and Angela Lansbury. This is a good movie. Let's get to the rest of the slipcovers. Still a bunch to go. Here's Raising Arizona, another Nicolas Cage movie. Vital Signs, 1990, 1989 film, of course. William Devane, Jimmy Smith, Diane Lane. CBS Fox release, of course. Dr. Doolittle, the 1998 remake with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I, this is a fun movie. Definitely enjoy it. Highly recommended. I don't have the original 1967 film, but the 1998 comedy is just as good. Speed with Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, and Sandra Bullock. Oh, yeah. If you have not seen this movie, I've... Definitely, definitely recommend it. It's awesome. One of Jan DeBont's best films. Napoleon Dynamite. This is a movie that doesn't need an introduction. It's one of its kind. Co-produced by Paramount and MTV Films. Oh, there's no print date on this tape, what was I thinking? <laughs> Another movie that doesn't need an introduction, Mrs. Doubtfire, with the late, great Robin Williams. He is definitely missed by us all. I've shown this movie quite frequently on movie night, and I have no plans to stop showing it anytime soon. The Last of the Mohicans with Daniel Day-Lewis. 1992 movie. I remember watching this in... I remember watching this film in English class in 2004, I think, my junior year of high school. Not too sure. Lake Placid with Bill Pullman, Bridget Fonda, and Oliver Platt. Written by David E. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> a killer alligator. Or no, a killer crocodile. Excuse me, there's a killer crocodile in the film. Jumpin' Jack Flash with Whoopi Goldberg. Directed by Penny Marshall. Yep, 1986, 20th Century Fox. Jack the Bear with Danny DeVito. This film from 1993? Yeah, it is. Okay. James Horner did the music to this film. Independence Day with Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and Bill Pullman. Another movie that needs no introduction. 1996 sci-fi action flick. Highly recommended if you haven't seen it. I'll show this movie on movie night soon. Don't know when yet. Oh, there is a print date on here, by the way. It is September 13th, 1996. Hope Floats with Sandra Bullock, Harry Connick Jr., and Gina Rollins. Yeah. An okay film. High Crimes with Morgan Freeman and Ashley Judd. Seems like Morgan Freeman is in just about every movie there is. 
tape is upside down. No, there's no print date on this tape. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, don't let those tapes fall. Grand Canyon, an all-star cast with Danny Glover, Kevin Klein, Steve Martin, Mary McDonald, Mary Louise Parker, and Alfred Woodard. Is there anybody I leave out? Nope. 1991 20th Century Fox. A former Blockbuster rental. Man, I miss Blockbuster video. Don't you guys? Ghost in the Machine. 1993, 20th Century Fox, Karen Allen, Chris Mulkey, Ted Marco. Yeah. 1994 Fox video release. Here's a Garfield VHS tape I have. Garfield on the town. Will Garfield get to the vet? Is this trip really necessary? Will Garfield drive John crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. And th I think this is the one where Garfield meet finally sees his mother. I'm not sure. It's a 1983 uh, special. Printed on July 10th, 1990. Garfield Goes Hollywood. Oh, yeah. I mean, who doesn't love Garfield the Cat? This is a 1987 special. Printed on July 9th, 1990. Here's the Full Monty, 1997 Fox Searchlight Comedy. I think this got a nomination for Best Picture. Not sure. Even though I know the Oscar went to Titanic, that was obvious. Okay. Here's For the Boys with Bette Midler and James Caan. Also with George Siegel. You save video special one dollar rental. Hmm. It's interesting to see which rental stores a lot of these tapes came from. Five Heartbeats, Robert Townsend, 1991 movie, along with uh, a few of the stars' names who I don't know. Robert Townsend is the only one I recognize. There is no print date. Fight Club with Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. Oh, yes. Mischief, Mayhem, Soap. Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome movie. Is there a print date? No. The Exorcist 3 with George C. Scott. Ed Flanders, Jason Miller, Scott Wilson. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, um, Brad Dorif is in this film. He's in this movie around the same time he was voicing Chucky in the second Child's Play movie. 20th Century Fox, Morgan Creek. Dying Young with Julia Roberts and Campbell Scott. Also with Vincent D'Onofrio. A few others. Joel Schumacher directed this movie while Sally Field produced it. Oh, oh Duncan Henderson was a co-producer. Okay. For movies and sounds, former rental. Down Periscope with Kelsey Grammer. Rob Schneider, Lauren Holly, Harry Dean Stanton, Bruce Dern, and Rip Torn. Yeah, Kelsey Grammer was in this film around the same time he was starring as Frasier in his own show. Die Hard with a Vengeance. This is the third film in the Die Hard series. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm showing the films out of order, but I don't really care. This is the Die Hard 2, Die Harder. I do plan to showcase all the Die Hard movies on for movie night in good time. Maybe in November, I don't know yet. The original Die Hard movie. <laughs> 1988, CBS Fox. 1988, the movie. 1989, CBS Fox. There's no print date. Here's Courage Under Fire with Denzel Washington and Meg Ryan. One of the best films of the year. This was Michael Moriarty, Lou Diamond Phillips, Matt Damon, Seth Gilliam, Bronson Pinchot, and Scott Glenn. All star cast. 1996. Okay. 
A Cool Dry Place with Vince Vaughn, Monica Potter, and Joey Lauren Adams. Which I will say, Joey Lauren Adams is very, very sexy. Especially in this movie. Okay. Come See the Paradise with Dennis Quaid and Tamlin Tomita. Alan Parker. This must be an independent film. I think it is. For movies and sounds, of course. Former rental. Yeah, these tapes can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Pardon me, folks. Oh, you have to turn it the other way. That's more like it. Okay. Class Action with Gene Hackman and Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. Okay. And here's a movie that Steve showcased for Movie Night not so long ago. The Chase with Charlie Sheen and Christy Swanson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Funny, funny movie. Yeah, funny and action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Bullworth with Warren Beatty and Halle Berry. Also with Don Cheadle, Oliver Platt, Paul Sorvino, the late great Jack Warden, and Isaiah Washington. And Warren Beatty also wrote, produced, and directed this film. How about that? So he was pretty busy working on this movie. Closet Land, Madeline Stowe and Alan Rickman. Although Fox Video and Media Home Entertainment released this tape, this is a universal film and, and an Imagine Entertainment film. This was released as when Universal was celebrating their 75th anniversary, although during the 75th anniversary logo, it's silent. There's no fanfare playing or anything. The Vanishing with Jeff Bridges, Kiefer Sutherland, and Nancy Travis. Sandra Bullock is in the film, too. Former blockbuster rental. And it looks like I'm getting a message from somebody, so sit tight, folks. I'm going to go see who it is. back to the tapes. Still got all these to show. I'll go as quick as I can. Here's Used People. 1992 film. Two of a Kind with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. And no, this is not the sequel to Grease. Yeah. But from what I hear about this movie, it's not that great. But still... Worth a look if you're bored. Two Girls and a Guy with Robert Downey Jr., Heather Graham, and Natasha Gregson Wagner. I also know there's an NC-17 release of this movie. Which can be seen on, like, Cinemax and stuff. Fox Searchlight. True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. Action-packed film. Definitely worth a look. One of James Cameron's awesome films. Alongside Titanic and Avatar, of course. To Be or Not to Be with Mel Brooks. And Christopher Lloyd's in this movie, too. And Bancroft. CBS Fox release, 1983. Titan AE. I think this is Don Blue's last film he did. Voice talents of Matt Damon, Bill Pullman, John Leguizamo, Nathan Lane, Janine Garofalo, and Drew Barrymore. 
It was a box office flop, but from what I hear, the reviews were still somewhat good. The Thin Red Line, 1998 war film. This came out the same year as Saving Private Ryan, except for the fact that Saving Private Ryan got the better reviews. I mean, both films were nominated for Best Picture, but Thin Red Line didn't win any Academy Awards. Although Saving Private Ryan won a few. There's Something About Mary with Cameron Diaz, Matt Dillon, and Ben Stiller. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another film that does not need an introduction. Thing You Do, That Thing You Do with Tom Hanks. Written and directed by him, and he also stars in this film, too. Tom Everett Scott, Liv Tyler, Steve Zahn, a few others. This is the first film he ever directed. Super Troopers, 2001 Fox Searchlight. <laughs> yeah. Saw this movie. It's definitely one of its kind. From Blockbuster Video, of course. The Super with Joe Pesci. Even though this movie is not super by any means. It's definitely the opposite of super. Speed 2 Cruise Control, the sequel to the 1994 film. But this movie is <laughs> awful. Why do I have this movie? I don't know. I guess because... I guess because I have the original. I don't know. I don't even care. Sleeping with the Enemy with Julia Roberts. Pretty suspenseful movie. Six Pack with Kenny Rogers, Diane Lane, and Aaron Gray. Okay. 20th Century Fox video release from 1982, I want to say. Yeah, open that up. There it goes. Simply Irresistible with Sarah Michelle Gellar and Sean Patrick Flannery. Saw this in theaters back in 99, thought it was okay, but... From what I understand, looking back on it, it's not that great. It's just okay. Shining 3 with Michael Douglas and Melanie Griffith. Also with Liam Neeson, Jolie Richardson. I have a couple of copies of Say Anything. I have a Selections VHS cassette of it. This is a great, great movie. Highly recommended if you haven't seen it. Here's the CBS Fox release of the movie, although this is a later printing. No print date show. The Rocky Horror Picture Show needs no introduction. We're going to watch this around Halloween night. Prelude to a Kiss with Alec Baldwin and Meg Ryan. Point Break with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. May he rest in peace. Patrick Swayze, that is. Gary Busey co-stars in the film. Oh, and from what I saw, yep. James Cameron was an executive producer. Okay. The Poseidon Adventure. I think this is a 1972 movie. I think it is from 1972. Yeah, it is. It is from 1972. Okay. CBS Fox release, so they have a, uh, an earlier printing of the tape in here. The Pickup Artist with Molly Ringwald and Robert Downey, although I believe it's Robert Downey Jr. who's in this movie. And the late, great Dennis Hopper. Printed on March 16th, 1988. Phone Booth, another Joel Schumacher thriller. Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, Katie Holmes, Kiefer Sutherland... Yeah, okay. No print date. PCU. 
1994 20th Century Fox. David Spade's in this movie. How about that? Have to watch this movie again. See what I really think. Yeah, the label's watered out. Passion of the Christ, Mel Gibson film, released by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, produced by Icon Productions. Preview video cassette for Paris Trout. Released through Media Home Entertainment and Fox Video, August 8th, 1991. Pacific Heights, with Melanie Griffith, Matthew Modine, and Michael Keaton. Co-produced by Morgan Creek. Okay. Out to Sea with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. May they both rest in peace. A pretty funny movie. Be kind, please rewind. Eh, obviously. On Golden Pond, 1981 independent film with Katherine Hepburn and Henry Fonda. Jane Fonda's in the movie, too. I forgot about that. Oops. An unusual film right here. Nuns on the Run. <laughs> yeah. Eric Idle. Found a print date on this tape. Dutch with Ed O'Neill. Written and produced by the late, great John Hughes. This has Ed O'Neill from Married with Children. Home Alone. Needs no introduction. 1990 comedy with Macaulay Culkin. Part of the sticker label's torn off there, unfortunately. Me, Myself, and Irene with Jim Carrey and Renee Zellweger. Co er, directed by the Farrelly Brothers, who brought us their Something About Mary. Three tapes left. Iron Eagle. This is a TriStar movie, but it was released by CBS Fox from 1985. Louis Gossett Jr. In the movie, of course. We have Airheads with Adam Sandler, Steve Buscemi, and Brendan Fraser. Okay. And the final Fox tape I want to show you all. Aliens, sequel to the 1979 movie. This has Sigourney Weaver, directed by James Cameron, of course. CBS Fox release. And there you have it for my 20th Century Fox VHS collections, folks. And we'll be back for some more of this 1,000 subscriber special after a while.